In this tutorial, we're going to be running performance profiling on our RecycleView grid gallery, just using the basic optimizations we implemented ourselves. I'll put a link to that performance tutorial series just in the corner of the screen up here. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorial. My name's Nigel. Right, we're going to be running a number of performance tests. The first test we're going to do is trace view, just so we can see what's happening on the system, the threads that are running, and um, how, how much processing you are, we've got happening on various threads. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to click is the Android device monitor here. Okay, now go back to Android Studio and start up the application. Application is now running, so we want to select the application and the device monitor. Next step here is we're going to select the start profiling method. And you get this pop-up box here to select OK for that. Okay, we're now profiling. So what I want to do is I'm just going to be scrolling all the way down. This is happening quite slowly because we are loading images in the background. Happening really so because there's so many images. And as we scroll back up we're using the cache until we run out of the cache. Then we're doing um, garbage collector calls emptying the cache and reloading the cache for these latest images. So if you don't do too much scrolling, it's sort of okay. Okay, now we can actually stop the profiling, stop the method profiling. Give it a bit of time. I'm just going to decrease these boxes so we can see what's happening here. So as you can see here, first thing on the left hand side up here, I want to focus on that. What we can see is a number of async tasks being called when we're actually loading the images. And we have our main thread up here as well. Let me see if I can zoom into that. Okay. So, as we can see, we're using different async tasks at a different time. They're not happening in parallel, they're happening one at a time. And these async tasks are basically going to be decoding the uh, bitmap streams from the files before they get loaded into image view. So you can see there's a lot of intensive things happening on this async task. And as you can see in the UI thread, nothing's happening. So I'm sitting there doing nothing on the UI thread because we're waiting for the async task to complete. And so basically every time we're loading, doing a fresh load of um, images there, we're creating a new async task happening here. Um, I don't know if async task is the most efficient way of doing this, um, especially since we've got four cores in the processor and we could be running our thread on each processor doing things in parallel. Um, but that's going to be a topic for another time. Okay, so this is just giving me a bit of an insight to the async task, the main thread operation, and just the user experience there. We've got over 100 bitmaps. Well, they're not bitmaps. We've got over 100 full-size images there where that we're pre-sampling to get down to a certain size and loading into cache. So there's a lot of work now going on here. But this is the uh, trace view. And if you've got certain bottlenecks, uh, that would show up like this, where you're just occupying the whole thread in a certain matter. Anyway, so that's that's the, that's the trace view. Let me get out of that. Let's go back to the application. Okay, so I'm going to actually close the application and rerun it again. The next test we're going to be doing is on the memory. So let's start up this application. Okay, so once the application started, if we go to the bottom pane, you'll see memory here. Let's select that. 
Okay, so if I look on the right hand side there, I see I'm currently allocating 13.3 megabytes on the application just as soon as the start is up. Let's try scrolling it. If we're scrolling it, we're going to be app, uh, allocating more bitmaps. We'll expect this heap to grow. And already you can see what I mean. The heap is growing. And I want to focus on here, as you can see, the uh, slopes dropping back down. There's um, garbage collection uh, is being called to free up memory. And that's actually going to, we'll get a bit of a performance overhead every time we're doing garbage collection happening. And it's probably because my cache is not so big. Scroll back up. And we've grown the applications allocations now have grown up to 32 megabits. I am using quite a small cache. If the cache was bigger, we would expect that to increase as well. And as you can see, we've got a bit of garbage collection happening there as well. Let's go back down again. And back up. Now as soon as I start having to empty the cache and reload, reloading the cache again, we can see um, a bit of garbage collection happening there. Okay, that's now running. So we're using in the range of 30 megabytes once it's been allocated. Now we can actually call the garbage collector. We can initiate a garbage collection, so let's do that. And you can see we get a bit of memory freed up and we drop down to 26 megabytes. So this particular test is going to give us an example of what library, how much memory is being allocated. More memory, in theory, your application will run a lot faster, but you could affect the whole operation of your phone if you're consuming too much memory and that could affect other applications, causing the whole phone itself to run a bit slow. Okay, so that's the memory part of this test. Let me close that. Okay, the last performance profiling test we're going to be running is going to be on how long it takes to render a frame. Okay, let me restart the application. Now I'm going to record the, let's do a screen record. Okay, so we now we've got to go into our device and select the settings. And scroll onto the bottom, select developer options. Now scroll onto the bottom. We want monitoring, we want to profile GPU rendering. And we're just going to do that on the screen as bars. Let me double check, I've set that yet. Yep. Okay, already you'll notice that we've got a little graph down the bottom here. Um, and note the horizontal green line. Basically, that's, that's a timeline of 60 milliseconds. And these little bars represent a frame. So if a frame takes longer than 16 milliseconds to render, that can be like a stuttering or a pausing effect in the application. Undesired behavior. Okay, now let's go to our application. And let's do some scrolling. I've got no real problems with the frame itself. It's the background async threads where we've got most of the work. We are now starting to see a little bit of um, rendering happening over. And we'll continue scrolling. So we're seeing a few frames that are going over the 16 millisecond time for the rendering. But again, the biggest problem is just loading all these thumbnails, even though we are pre-sampling them. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the rendering. I'm basically going to save these results and then we can compare them against each one of the image libraries. Okay, that's it for basically part one of the performance profiling series. The main reason I ran my um, manual optimizations was because inside Trace View, I'd, I'll be a little bit familiar with what was happening. We're using async tasks, the number of async tasks created, and, I'm, I'd, and the method calls. If I wanted to dig in deeper, I'd be familiar with um, the method calls and such. So I just wanted to get this running. This is a bit of a reference. You would expect the proper third party um, image loading applications to um, bit of, bit better performance, maybe. And I'm using a very small cache as well. I know if I increase that size of the cache significantly, the application will run a lot faster. And so we'll be able to compare that to how much memory the other image loader libraries are consuming. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. tutorial. And remember, if you like my tutorials and you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button. I'm now moving myself into my computer and you can see all my social media links there. So. If you want to follow me on Twitter, click that. I've got a Facebook account and other social media accounts as well. Anyway, I'm probably going to have a link to uh, another the following tutorial to this after this. So that's bye from me. Bye for now. And now I'll select the memory tab. Let's look first of all. Okay, we're using 10 megabits, megabytes of um, memory. 